bit of a taste of observing the breath. So what, what really makes sense, um, you know, is to sit in a way that's comfortable for you. And that's going to be, if people are at home, you might want to change where you're sitting, you know, lie down if that works for you. But as you come into your chair, you are in fact breathing. As you listen to the words coming through the computer right now, you have an opportunity to notice for yourself that you are in fact breathing. So you can do this with your eyes opened or closed, but find a way to sit, to hold your body that feels comfortable for you. And you can let your body become still. Relax your mental effort and begin to observe. Sense the movements of your breath. And this might be helpful to put a hand on the chest and on the belly. And you might begin to feel those movements. It's just an option to consider. Be aware of how your body fills and empties with each breath. Begin to notice the expansion and the contraction, that releasing and filling. And if you can, try to soften your belly. Try to let your belly not have any tension, not have any tightness, but to let the belly move freely. And as you relax around that area, you may find that there's more movement. Be aware of your rib cage, the subtle movements, the muscles in the chest and the midsection that help the body breathe. When your inhale comes to an end, you simply allow for the exhale. As your exhale finishes, you begin your next inhale. So the inhale and exhale are a seamless, steady flow of breath. And you begin to watch how you're breathing. Let each breath move at a pace that makes sense for you. Observing the duration of your inhale and exhale allowing the breath to flow in an unbroken stream. And now you begin to see that the breath happens and you can witness that breath. You can begin to observe your own inhale and exhale. And as you breathe at that pace that's right for you, you begin to see the breath moving. Expanding on the inhale, retreating on the exhale, naturally flowing. And as you feel able, you might begin to stretch your breath, just adding an extra second or two to the inhale and an extra second or two to the exhale. Observing that expansion, allowing for the release. Watching yourself breathe. Noticing the qualities of your breath. Maybe deepening by adding that count or two, but knowing that if that is anxiety provoking in any way, it's not necessary. And with your eyes opened or closed, you know that this breath continues, even if your mind moves away from it. When you're ready, you can move your hands away from the body if you were monitoring the breath that way. Open your eyes if they were closed. And welcome the power of your breath to your day.
That was wonderful, Lydia. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. I think the idea being that the breath is always there, Megan. Mm -hmm. No matter what comes up. No matter what comes up. up. No matter what we're facing. No matter where we might be. We have the capacity to notice, just beginning by noticing that we have this tool inside of us. And as we move through these sessions, we'll start to introduce different activities, different exercises that people can use. But that initial noticing of the breath is really the first step on the path. Yeah. 